Wait, look who's here. I'm gonna set up my room and tidy it, log in my computer, turn off the light, get ready for my night. So the way it works is I get a list of calls that I have to go through. People have asked for help and said it's urgent overnight. I call people on the list and I go through it on the list. And then if I decide I need to see them face to face, I will call them in to see me. The other thing I do is urgent home visits. I get given a driver who's waiting at the front. And if there's someone who's elderly or bed bound, who's sick at home and cannot come to the hospital, I can visit them. So it's for elderly, severely disabled, and it's a very limited service for people who in no circumstances can leave the house. Hey Jack, how long have you been a driver for in the NHS? 22 years. Okay, what did I tell you the other day about vitamin D? I'm testing you now. I thought I should take it. I asked you what the difference was between a normal D and a D3. Yeah. Okay, that was actually a good question. And one more question for you. What is vitamin D for? What is vitamin D for? Yeah. I have no idea. Immunity and general health. Yeah, because I did ask you if, if uh, yeah. calcium and vitamin yeah, D... Yeah, and that's also a good is, one. Is, but uh, you wouldn't combine both of them, would you? No, you just need one vitamin D, but a multivitamin, it's a common myth that people always think they have multivitamins and they don't need vitamin D. Vit multivitamins rarely have the adequate dose, but you're already, you're already getting top marks for taking D, vitamin D. Thank you. So, so far we've been lucky. No, no, uh, no home visit yet. Um, Jack is waiting out front, ready to go if I give him a signal. The driver has a medical car and in the car we have medical equipment, we have um, medications that I might have to dispense. I take a prescription with me in case I have to leave a prescription for them to collect from their pharmacist in the morning. One top tip I'm going to tell you, the drivers and the receptionists in the hospital know everything. Doctors we often rotate and we change. Often receptionists, if you ask them how long they've worked there, Jack for example, the driver, he's worked for 20 years so that means he knows it all. Let's go. Medication, equipment, bag. You got a script in case you need it. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. So I can see on my call list I have ten patients waiting for a call. So an example is a 33-year-old while having um, an abortion that she wants advice, a seven-year-old who's got ear pain and crying, a 43 who had surgery recently and has a wound problem, 29-year-old with um, no information, 63-year-old who's got a um, painful leg. As a GP, you can have any kind of patient and it's important to be ready. So I've done now, it's getting to 1am, I've done 5 hours, so what I try to do is speed up a little bit if I can um, and I've worked quite steadily and quickly through all of my calls to make sure I could see any urgent patients and book anyone who needs to be seen. So now I'm on top of the calls a little bit so I can see patients as they call and also like it's getting to 1am so the chances of someone wanting to come into hospital is getting less and less. So I guess pre-night, um, I always feel a little bit like, do I really want to do it? No, I don't, but you get used to it. But then I remember it's just a night and I used to do seven nights in a row and I'm okay with it now. Right now, there's blue skies in London, which helps, but I'm doing my night shift in summer and that also helps because I know as soon as I get to two, I'm okay. And at 5 a.m. you have sunrise. So this is what I'm gonna wear for my night shift. I suggest wearing something loose and baggy. So these are leggings and this is just a loose top. So that's easy to wear. And notebooks, stethoscope, um, pen. So these are for my notes and if I have time in the night. Some fruit, a protein bar, 
lip balm hydrating facial spray because I will get dry skin at some point and a moisturizer, blush and concealer. So these are my essential items. Sunset, shift time on for me. Away! First salad, and then, and then everything else. So now I am gonna have another coffee, I think. So coffee number two and lots of water to keep well hydrated on my nights is essential. Seven AM now, I'm feeling a little bit tired. Um, one last hour to go. Um, yeah, I've got on top of most of my work. I've got a few more things to finish up, but uh, yeah, I'm just super tired now. Um, sweet. Yeah.